So Iran and the world are awaiting to see who will replace Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. Around two-thirds of the ballots have now been counted, and uh, here is the current situation. The latest information we have. The centrist candidate, Hassan Rouhani, has won around 52 percent of the vote. His nearest competitor, the mayor of Tehran, Mohammed Bakr Kalibaf, has around 16 percent. Well, in a moment, we'll speak to uh, Al Jazeera's Dorothy Pavaz about uh, the social media reaction to this vote. But first, let's speak once again to uh, Human Majid, who's uh, an Iranian-American journalist, author and uh, commentator. Good to talk to you again. Thank you. What do you make of the fact that, um, I mean, to everyone's surprise, this isn't going to go anywhere near, or it doesn't look like it's going to a, to a second vote, and that, like that, uh, and that point, Rouhani yeah. has gathered so much of the vote? Well, I think it's, it's surprising to almost everybody who's, who's been making either predictions or been analyzing this or been thinking about it over the last few days or in the last few weeks even. Um, yeah, I think it's just a, an, this surge of voting that happened, a surge of enthusiasm to vote, which has happened over the last few days, particularly since former President Khatami and then former President Rafsanjani threw their backing behind, uh, to, to Rouhani, I think has, has translated at the last minute, as it often does in Iranian elections, uh, into this you know, massive kind of support for someone who, you know, kind of rejecting the policies of the last eight years. In a strange way, it's sort of like, you know, the Bush-Obama thing. You know, after eight years, it was like, okay, finally, hope and change. And, it, you know, it is probably not coincidental that Rouhani used hope and change in his campaign. I think the Iranians did have some hope, or at least once they decided to go and vote, there was some hope that this was going to reflect a real change uh, for them who are living there. We'll talk about, about whether he can actually deliver on... Uh, the, the, the promise, if, if you like, and, and the faith that, that the voters have put in him mm -hmm. in, in, in just a moment. But first, um, my colleague uh, Dorothy Pavaz has been uh, uh, casting her eye across the so social media reaction to, uh, to, to all of this. Dorothy, what, what, have, what have Iranians been saying? Well, it's been a long night. Everyone's been up late tweeting at all hours, and uh, most of the discourse seems to be either humorous or, you know, just absolutely obsessed with the stats, uh, looking at uh, votes as they come in. Um, some fretting that it's taking too long, others reassuring them that last time it went a little too fast for their liking. So, um, for instance, uh, one of the tweeters here said, uh, I'm going to read a tweet out to you. Do you really think that with the huge gap between candidates in the first and second place, that it would be, that if it goes to the second round, Rouhani wouldn't be able to get more than 50 percent of the votes? So people are pretty certain that even if it were to go to a second round, Rouhani would have it in the bag. Um, and then uh, some people are sort of uh, using some humor to, uh, I don't know, probably release some tension <laughs> that's been building up over the past uh, two weeks or so. So uh, another tweeter says that um, if four years ago we knew that Sir, and he's referring to Khamenei, preferred purple to green, we would have made some different decisions, referring to Rouhani, uh, his fans, a lot of them, his supporters, uh, used, wore green four years ago and are wearing purple this time around. Um, and, you know, uh, uh, there's another tweet that says, um, so now that it's our turn, this is assuming they, whoever, I guess this is a reformist supporting Rouhani, so now that it's our turn, who do we place under house arrest? Again, referring to Mehdi Karoubi and uh, Mir Hossein Moussabi, former reformist leaders who are still under house arrest okay. for over All two right. years. Okay, so Irini is still waiting for the final result. Um, uh, we talked about the, 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 the promise. Uh, Rouhani in, in no way can be described as a, a, as a reformist candidate. He's a, he's a, a centrist, I, 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 I wouldn't suppose. say in no way. No? I would say that he has leaned reformist, um, certainly throughout this campaign. Okay. He has leaned heavily reformist. Yeah. And prior to this campaign, um, yes, more of a centrist, a moderate, in, independent. But right. in but, this but, campaign, he made it very clear that he was yeah. going after the reform. Given the limited choice that voters had, mm -hmm. uh, he was the only option for anyone wanting to, to signal that they want change, they want reform. Mm -hmm. uh, how will the supreme leader react to, to, to the message that's been sent to him? Well, um, I, it's impossible to say, right? I hate to guess because we're often so wrong, as this, even this election has, has proven yeah. about our guesses about. And certainly, you know, to try to psychoanalyze a supreme leader, I think, is, is a fool's errand. Um, people try to and often say, oh, the supreme leader will never allow this, he'll never do this, or he will definitely do this. And obviously, we were wrong about that. Yeah. Um, I think the supreme leader was probably well aware that the message of um, change was in the air yeah. um, coming from his people. Uh, and 
for whatever reason, he chose to accept it at right. this point. So will a Rouhani presidency make any difference as far as the, your, your average Iranian's life is concerned? Will, will the, the, I think they believe the, it will. The, the sanctions, will, 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 they, will they be eased? Will, will life get any easier? And, and what about Iran's relations with, with the West? Will that change as well? Will it still well, be seen as this he has sort of promised that state? He will do everything he can to change it. Yeah. Um, and will our Iranians under any illusions that a president can you know, change everything overnight? No, I don't think they are. They're just as sophisticated as voters are in, in the West. Um, were we happy when President Obama didn't close Guantanamo the first day in office? No, we weren't happy as progressives. I'm talking as a progressive, but, uh, but we, we realize also there are limitations on the presidency. And the Iranians realize that too, but there is definitely hope. Those who went into the streets to vote yesterday in the hot sun and stood in line for two hours, young, old, middle class, across the political spectrum, and came out in huge numbers, it appears, yeah. at this point, for Rouhani, obviously had some hope that this would change our lives. And I think we should give them credit and we should be, you know, let them have their day, as it were, of celebration uh, okay. for having achieved what they wanted to achieve. Send the message, as you point out, to the administration, to the system, to the regime that we want change. Yeah. And this is the man who has promised the most change. Right. And we have hope for our future as well. Otherwise, why bother to vote? Yeah. So, and there were people who didn't bother to vote. Yeah. And there was that there element spoiled too. Ballots. And there are spoiled ballots. Yeah. Yes, there's no question like about 3%. that. It's not like I'm saying the entire country yeah. uniformly came out and said, we want Rouhani. Yeah. And there were people who voted for okay. other people too. All right. so. Look, well, it, it sounds as though a result isn't, the final result isn't, not that, yet. Uh, isn't not yet. too far away. But uh, many thanks to you both, Dorothy Perez. And... Uh, Come and uh, match it.